evolutionists in the United States have confused priorities. I mean, kids score near the bottom in reading, in math, in science. I mean, you could say that Somalia students do worse, but generally, the United States is behind practically every civilized country in education. People still send their kids to school, and that's largely because they don't know anything else to do with their kids. But when you have a majority of kids that aren't even literate, asking them to be scientifically literate is a bit of a leap, to be honest. An evolutionist himself said that most of biology proceeds independent of the theory of evolution. So why is this the issue that scientists want to push? I mean, isn't being able to do sums a little higher on the list of things that will be of practical benefit to Johnny? It's like worrying about the window dressings on your house when the foundation is crumbling. Some people say it's not possible to explain the world without evolution in billions of years. And my response generally is, have you tried? Really, have you tried? When you're stuck with an evolutionary worldview, it's very complicated to explain things like, well, we have placental mammals and marsupial mammals that look nearly identical to one another, but they're not supposed to be closely related. Dinosaurs are supposed to have died 70 million years ago, but we find bones with unfossilized tissue still there. Sure, animals change with each new generation, but the types of changes that are observed will never amount to the kind of change that evolution requires, even given millions of years. Mutations are supposed to generate new information to get life from a single cell to humans, but they're blowing away massive amounts of the human genome with each new generation. And to explain all these things, they pile just so story on top of just so story. And if you try to ignore the problems with evolution, your worldview becomes just crazy, just untenable, itself inconsistent. And I say to evolutionists, if you want to believe evolution and live in your, in your world that's completely inconsistent with everything that we observe in the universe, that's fine. But don't make it your mission to brainwash our kids. You can't even teach them to read properly. And that's the first step. We need people like we need engineers that can build stuff and solve problems by examining both sides of an issue rather than attempting to suppress or censor all the evidence for a worldview that they're uncomfortable with. Most Christian students are taught evolution and allowed to examine the science against it. And of course, the world's leading creation scientists, many of whom used to be evolutionists, and the leading creation organizations around the world are very familiar with the latest evolution evidences and then we refute them. It's great when evolutionists talk about science or have science programs for kids on TV that focus on things that are observable and repeatable that we all agree on. But when you start talking about your faith in what happened millions of years ago when no one was there to observe anything, a bit of tolerance would go a long way, don't you think? I mean, is your way of understanding the past the only possible way to explain what we observe today? Of course not. I mean, what you believe happened millions of years ago isn't science. It's just a belief. It's just faith. It's faith in a particular version of history that's part of your worldview. You can't prove it to be true. You know, in another couple of centuries, that worldview, I'm sure, will be... It just won't exist. Everyone will know the truth. So.